presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. Tom's out today, and it's my pleasure to be here. I usually do the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Tiger Technicians Hour, and my service here at TFNN is my opening call daily newsletter. Let's get right to it. The Dow had a fabulous run to the upside yet again. It went all the way to the 35,000 level, and now it's trading at 34,441, almost 600 points below that. And in fact, it's taken out. Uh, the low today so far is 34,412. That took out yesterday's low. And uh, what, what I've been saying to subscribers is that the sell mode in the daily chart is so strong that there's a really good chance it's going to impact the weekly chart. And the weekly chart is suggesting, well, uh, this is halfway through the week, actually a little less than halfway through the week, that in fact, there's a sell signal in the day, in the weekly chart, but I really have to wait for Friday's close to say whether or not it is a sell mode, meaning just it's a designation. It doesn't mean, oh, sell mode means going to double to the downside. No, it just says that's where that's its status. And at this particular point, the repellent from the Chapman Wave inside track in the uh, up, up move to the, where are we? We're looking at the monthly chart, and it hit 36,565 on the 8th of November, and it got repelled from that line. I call this the inside track repellent line. Look, once again, it got repelled, and we're going to be watching this and watch this really closely by Friday's close. Let's go on. We got a, the S&P. So the S&P was stronger than the Dow for a good part of the day. In a way, it's down just 0.04%, and the Dow is down 0.25%. It's down $2, two dollars at 45.64. Can you believe that this morning it hit 46.52? It's almost 100 points, 90 points off that high. Look at these red candles. And one of the things that I've been discussing for some time now is when you measure the high that was met, the the technicals with their doji candle at 47.18.50 on the 5th, I believe it was the 5th, I should have put the date, 5th of November. Look how strong the MACD was, look how strong the stochastic was, look how strong the on-balance volume is at that particular point. Look, even the relative strength, the little gray line there, fabulous. When you go to a new all-time high on the 22nd at 47.43.83, Look how weak. The MACD's down, stochastic's down, on balance volumes pull back, relative strength is bad, but you still have the nine period over the 14 period moving average, and that's a big positive. Boom. All of a sudden, yesterday and today, you've got that S, which means sell. It means that this has gone from a positive move to a negative move. It means that it's going to have to work really hard to get to the 40, today's high is 46.52. I said if it can start to close in the 46. 48 to 46.52 level over the next two days, that would be very positive. So that still stands. Uh, so we're watching it closely, and you've got the repellent from that inside track, repellent zone in the weekly chart. And this is a spectacular move going from the low of March of 2020 at 2191.86. You've only had one little peak. Otherwise, you've had successively higher highs every single month, all the way to this month, uh, to this past month, November. 
We'll see if December, and I think it's going to turn into that, December actually makes a peak B with a lower high, not going above 47, 43.83. But you've got, I mean, this is the first trading day of the month. You've got the rest of December to say, all you have, all you have to do is get to 47, 43.84, one penny higher, and that extends the monthly chart. All right, enough of that. Let's get on to the one that's really pro possibly the two most important ones. One is the QQQ, the NDX trading vehicle. That's the one, two, three, the QQQ. And we're looking at this Invesco QQQ Trust Series, which is the NDX 100. What I've been talking about for the last couple of days is if there's a pattern that I look at here. Well, the three patterns I'm constantly looking at. One is a straight line move up or down. The other is a cup formation. The other is an arch formation. You can get a mix of one and uh, two or one and three. In this particular case, you got red one and three because if this arch fails after just one little peak of an A or a B, and then it goes down and it takes out the left side low, that is very negative action. And let's move on and we'll see what happens. Look, the low of 389.77 made four sessions ago. The, the day is young. We've got another, what have we got? Another, uh, let's just say 45 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago. And we're already at 391.15. So if all of a sudden there isn't a rally to save the day, but in fact there's further selling, if we go underneath that, you've got the pattern that I call, show it once again, the dreaded H. Why? Because if it takes decisively, the, it takes the left side low out, it can continue down. And we're going to be watching that very, very closely. As it is, it's on a trend line, just about on a trend line. So that's the QQQ. Let's look at the SMHs. Are they turning down? For disclosure purposes, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that we, from a subscribers to my opening call, we've been trying to short each one of these particular indexes that we think are topping out. We started off with the Dow. We're at, we're looking now at the QQQ. We do have a short position in the QQQ. We did have a short position in the SMHs. We just got stopped out. No, I shouldn't say we just got we got stopped out with with a uh, just it depends when you got in. It's a tiny loss or a tiny gain. Um, we haven't got back in, but this says to me if you look at the left side and the right side um, of the high that was made at three or five point ninety five in the SMH, the semiconductor index, going to the Chevrolet inside track repellent zone, back on around about the ninth of November at three or five ninety five, pulls back, makes a new all time high at three eighteen point eighty two, and pulls back goes under the 14 period moving average then over the nine and the nine is still above the 14 got to watch this really closely because if any point in the next week the smh to start to trade under 302 that 207.89 low that was made just four days ago becomes a really important support level and this is the last of the key indices that's been just on a tear to the upside let's just go on to the iwm the iwm the russell 2000 what a candle one of the biggest candles we've seen in years let me just see is that in years oh i would say this is one of the biggest candles look at this this goes all the way back to april of this year we can keep scrolling even in this horrible move that you saw the iwm plunge back on the 24th of March, going to the low of the 23rd, that the general market went to its low. This was a little later. Um, even that candle is not as big as this. This is a pretty big candle, ugly. All right, we'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting for the one and only Tom O'Brien, taking a bit of a break, and I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 65. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting here for Tom O'Brien. The Dow is now down 140. This is whew, this is not good action at all. This is uh, this is confirming the sell mode that we've been talking about for some time now. Uh, and there's that dreaded H. You see that little H? It looks like so tiny now. Look how big it was at one point. Well, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, well, let's look at this. This is the same pattern that we're looking at now. Is the I is the um, NDX 100? Uh, there are. There's that H pattern. There's another one. Uh, they didn't even get to an H pattern over the last couple of days. It couldn't run. And you see this line here. This is called Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Support Line. The particular techniques that I used to uh, identify it. And this here is the arch formation with the plumb line right at the doji high, where uh, we cons considered that, that was, in fact, the top at 36,565 on the 8th of November. And look at look at this. Um, the number of bars to the to the left, uh, from from the left to the to the midpoint, is the same number of bars uh, we're getting to. If by uh, Thursday, is that Friday? By the third, if by Friday there's a touch of the 34,000, I think it's 104, 30, 34,105 low of the 13th of October. Uh, where where did I just? Oh, right here. Look. Uh, in the five-minute chart of the E-mini, the object of the Chapman Wave methodology is to get you to a peak D. Look, there's a D. Then, then there was this doji candle low right on the 200-period moving average at 9.40 this morning. It ran so sharply. It went peak A, peak B. This is a five-minute chart. Peak C, right there. i got to lift it up because I, I, the distances are so big now. And then I went to a D. And at the fourth highest peak, it turned around with two little doji candles and it turns around. And look at this. There's a midpoint, midpoint green going all the way number of, of uh, bars. And look here, five minute bars to the right. It took it out within two bars. Exactly. It's called my left side, right side price time match. And here is Chapman inside wedge target support line. It got it exactly. And then it plunged right through. And this particular technique says if it plunges right through, watch out because you can do a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Let me just see if that is a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. I've been just so busy. I haven't been able to even think about that. One-to-one -to, -one to the downside would take you to right there. There it is. In fact, we've just broken that one-to-one -to -one support. I'll make this red to show you what I'm talking about. There you are. Okay. So those are just some of the techniques we use. Uh, down is now down 160 points. This is... This is not good. 
not good at all. And look what's happening. Now we're testing the support line. Uh, we might get there even sooner. Anyway, that's the way it is right now. We've still got 35, what is it, uh, 30, almost 40 minutes to go to the close. We can still get little buy programs. You never know. This is, I mean, we've been every which way since Friday, since the Wednesday of last week, since before Thanksgiving. All right. Qu a couple of questions. Uh, ZS was uh, this morning. Someone had mentioned how spectacular with the earnings, how it had plunged to the upside. I mean, had spiked to the upside. And then within seconds, look at this. It made, a, a, I'm always looking at round numbers. So on the 19th of May, Z Scalar Inc., uh, ZS is the symbol, spikes to an all-time high of 376.11. That's on the 19th of May. It had a 368 round number high the very next day. I'm always watching these round numbers. And look what happens. It drops sharply to the 329 level, has a fabulous four-day run, and it almost tests the high. It goes to 373.74. Hmm, the news wasn't all that good because it's gone from 373 early today to so far the lowest 315.49. I would say 60 points, 20% uh, pullback mm, from the intraday high. I'd say that that's something serious. And a lot of these stocks, that's why you can't just go by the QQQ. A lot of these stocks, oh my, QQQs just took out the left side low in the dreaded H pattern. Remember, we talked about on, on the live. I mean, this is live on the show. So we've just got that pullback and pullback plunge. It's gone below. Even if it closes above, it's actually done the damage. This is just suggesting that the rotation that I've been talking about for a few days, the reason why we went into the QQQs on the short side is because within the context of the rotation, lows are made in unison. Like on March the 23rd last year, there was this unison combination bottom. Uh, that's actually where we went along the, the the Dow Diamonds via options. And the very soon after that, we bought the diamonds. Still have some position in those diamonds. Um, and that's all the way from Dow um, well, under 21,000, I believe. Um, and now what we're looking at is what the pattern that has formed is suggesting that these weekly charts, that's one of the reasons why I kept thinking all night and into this morning, I've got a lot of a lot of technicals, um, the Chapman Wave trend gauge was very high. The um, VIX index had made a huge move just about to 29. A lot of it said there should be some kind of a bounce today. How how it holds was going to be important. I thought it would hold into maybe into for two days. It didn't even do that. And now look at this. The volatility index has started to move into leg C in uh, the Chapman Wave methodology. And it's gone above the 28.99 high of four sessions ago. It's at 29.25. It hit 29.25. It's at 29.01. What's really, really, really important about this whole thing is that within the context of the final saga of moving higher in the SMHs, Semiconductor Index, what we want to see is, is Applied Materials, which was a leader, uh, going to the high of the 16th of November at 115 round number high. Remember those round numbers. A round number high is so difficult to make, especially today when everything's electronic. It just says, someone's saying, I, I, I've, made, I've made so much money, I'm just getting out. I'm not going to put 159.09. I'm just saying, get me out at 159, and that's it. And they, they were the top tick so far. And then it comes, tries to make a V-shaped pattern. But look at the, look at the, distinguish the, um, the technicals at that high on the 11th, uh, uh, the 16th of November, and where it was today. And the MACD's weak, stochastic's very weak at 35%, on balance volume is weak, relative strength is actually not bad, but it's not good, it's at 52%. And you had yesterday, the nine period went mo moving average went under the 14 for, for uh, pink. And now it's gone green just for the day. But this is just saying, be careful, because now you're looking at the best of the best starting to uh, show some deterioration. And look at NVIDIA. Remember, we're talking about the pattern that I love to talk about, been doing it uh, for decades, is the dreaded H. Why is it dreaded H? Because if it takes out that left side low, you've got to be very careful. And as I say, the day's end, Dow's down 240 right now. Look at this. There's that. There's that arching over, and this is the best of the best. NVIDIA, NVDA, down 11, 
at 314. This morning it was ch testing 332.88. The all-time high is 346.47. And wait a minute. It had a round number 319 low. That means that 319, if it can close above 319, that's going to be at least a short-term positive. But if it stays under that for more than two sessions and keeps going lower, that makes that 319 level a very serious resistance. And that was on the 22nd of November. We've got MU, which is Micron. And Micron made an all-time high today of 89.05. Uh, G slash C in the Chapman methodology. This is, this is the strongest on the, on the last week. But its all-time high was way back uh, earlier on in the year when it was up in the 90s. I think it was 96s. Uh, I'll be talking more about it when we get back. Dow's up to 30. Dow's up to 70. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman for Tom O'Brien. My service here is the, uh, is the opening call daily newsletter, and I do the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock show called the Tiger Technicians Hour Eastern Time. We're looking at the Dow down 251, and we are going to go to... Mark, coming up right now. Let me just see. I want you to check on everything. Yep, Mark in Fort, uh, Fort Collins. Mark, how are you? Good. Um, you had a trade today. Um, I didn't see it until later, and I missed it, which is good because it, um, it hit the stop. But I'm looking at it now, and it came down to almost the 9 EMA. Uh, 9 EMA. I'm wondering what you're thinking about it. 
So, folks, I, I all week I've been watching this stock, ARQQ, which is Arquit, Quantum Inc. It does quantum encryption technology platform as a service, making communications links secure against attacks. It sounded like everything that you would be looking for. And then I thought, all right, in a market like this, there was a, a pullback yesterday. If I can get it on a pullback, but I had to say, what I said was we're going to have just a starter position. And even that position, I want you to split it into two. And what happened was it had gapped up pre-market. I didn't want the gap up. I wanted a pullback from that. We got that pullback. And what I'd said is that I'd done all the homework, just the cup formation, the left side, right side, price, time match. Look at this from the 41.52 peak C high that was made way back in uh, September, around about the 22nd. It pulled back to 13, round number low. It made it turn around. It went to a peak D. Usually, I don't like a peak D. Way under the previous high, but this one held so nicely, and then it walked the 9 and 14 feet moving average. And I thought, well, we've missed it so far. If there is a pullback and then a rally, that's kind of what I wanted. So instead, what happened is we, we got it uh, on, on the initial pullback, and then it ran up sharply. I mean, we got it at uh, 38.19. And it ran to 41, round number high today. And then, unfortunately, it pulled back. So that was just the first part. And then it pulled back, got us into the second one. And then it dipped even lower. It went down to 32.11. And now it's trading at the 35.12 level. It's still pretty good, but it is leg D. And that's my concern, that at D's, other things can happen. So, Mark, what I'm going to say is this it, obviously, I'm going to say to you, you're lucky you didn't get in because you haven't gone through the hassle of, of, of getting stopped out. But at the same time, I really like the stock. It's accomplished everything we wanted was to go above 41.52. I didn't expect to do it to do that uh, so quickly in, in one brief 30 minute session. Now, what we want to do is just to see how it holds. I think as a longer term position, it's right in the in the in the in the wheelhouse of what seems to be working when the market was tanking it was running beautifully my only concern was i thought well if it is going to leg d and if this is a market that it's gone higher as the markets come down maybe if the market rallies today it'll be weak but it was more than weak it was very weak it's now down 291 from yesterday's close i'm just going to say to you why don't you keep it on your list because everything about it looks good I, at this leg D, I have to be prepared that it, although we're out, that if I'm going to get back in, I have to wait for some kind of a consolidation because it's achieved that uh, higher leg that we were looking at in the daily chart. And now it's I'm, it's still not, I mean, it's not bad action at all. The MACD is good, stochastic is good. Um, the, uh, on balance volume, the relative strength is putting back just a tad. It's nicely above the 9 and 14 period moving. Everything about it I like. I just, my timing obviously on this one uh, was not was not good because I should have said, you know what, anything can happen. Let's, let's hold off for a day to see if it is weak. And then maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day we can maybe think of an entry point. But if it closes in the next three days under 32.11, this is ARQQ, Arquid Quantum Inc., that's when you want to start looking at and say, where will it find support? I love that it's the nine is still very strongly above the 14. All of that, everything about it is positive. I just, I didn't expect quite that pullback. I expected some pullback, but it was obviously more than I anticipated. All I'm going to say is hold off for the moment. Um, if you want, if you want to just nibble here at 35.17, being prepared that today's low of 32.11 can be hit. Three points. I don't think at this stage I want to take that kind of a risk. So I'm yeah. going to say hold hold off because the way it's acting, even if it rallies now to 40, 41 round number high, let's just say it rallies to 41.70, 42.30. My, my guess is that you will get a chance again in the 37 to 35 area, which is obviously higher than the 32s. But I, I want to see, is it going to make lower highs and lower lows for a turnaround? Or is it going to be stable? My thinking is it's going to be more in a rectangle formation and just digest these gains for a little bit. I hope that helps you. But keep yeah, it, it does. And when you have a chance, look at Square. It looks like it's coming down to some support areas, and I've been waiting for it to get into the low 190s. Um, and it made it pretty close today. So um, thinking. And if you're looking at Square, if you, if you, I don't know if you've seen it before. I showed it the other day. But on the weekly chart, 
there's a trend line. It's got that falling X formation. Lower highs and much lower lows. That trend line is exactly the support it's at. And this is just telling us you've got to be careful in this market because Square is. I, I might be wrong, but I think Square is a very much, very much part of the comeback uh, societal aspect of the business uh, area. And if it's acting so poorly, it's it's really saying, you know what? Uh, with no more outdoor dining and all things like that, because in, in the northeast, because it's getting so cold, maybe this is a problem. So yeah, let's keep the two together, and we'll I'll, I'll discuss them over the coming few days in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour at ten. All right, thanks, Basil. Thanks for all you do for us. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for calling. I appreciate. Was that uh, Jose? Uh, Jose in Lakeland. Hi, hi, Jose. How are you? How you doing, Basil? Basil, I enjoyed listening to you all year long. You're a gentleman. You're a peach of a fellow. Huh, thank you. Yeah. Um, Basil, uh, you guys were predicting doom and gloom yesterday with the Dow and the QQQs. Uh, are things following like uh, today's action uh, still confirm that? So there are a couple of things that I'm looking at. Um, Three three aspects are really important. One is if you look at the if you look, uh, did you want to also look at Cadence Design? Yeah, 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 I do. Okay, so give me one second. Let me just quickly do this as a, as an overview. If you look at the Dow from the eighth of November at thirty six five six five, it's come down significantly. And the rule of thumb normally is that for me. Prices, the number of bars to the upside, very often match the number of bars to the downside. But the final two or three bars on the downside in an arch formation can really accelerate. And they can often accelerate to a pretty significant tradable low. So the Dow right now is down 260. It is almost at the 34,222. It is almost at that 34,115 level that I was talking about from the left side and it'll be in one or two days shorter time frame. So if you put that into, into perspective, and then you look at the um, QQQ, which only now is starting its downturn, the arch formation, I would suggest that there's a good chance that we are looking at a consolidation that's gonna last a little longer than people really would like to see. But if it rotates, and that's really important, you see we've had the November 8th decline from the Dow, the IWM is even earlier, and it's in a, the rotation at the top. Hold on a second, we'll be right back because these are things that are worth talking about and we'll get to cadence. You wanna hold on? Absolutely. Great, we'll be back in a moment, Dow's down 220. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Hi, folks. We're on with Jose and Lakeland, and we're looking at... Well, first of all, I just wanted to finish that discussion is that markets tend to make lows like March 23rd of last year at a unison level, or even go back to March uh, the 6th of 2009, uh, the Friday for the Dow, where we actually went long, and then mm -hmm. the Monday, the following Monday, uh, where the S&P made its low. So, but tops are spread out. So what I'm saying now is that there's topping action, but the most important thing is that people try to think that there's a unified uh, major tsunami thrust to the downside, but so often since the 2009 low, even that uh, uh, 2010 summer, I said, I think we've learned something in, uh, through that summer, that there was a rotational correction. And as long as this market continually have most of the time rotational corrections, meaning that when one area like the Dow, let's say, if we can suddenly find some support, we might see that it holds up better percentage-wise than something like if the QQQ index 100 is now starting its consolidation. That's the reason why I'm making such a big fuss about the pattern, the lowercase h pattern, and how it closes and a whole bunch of things that go into it. But it has made a lower low today for leg B. But your cadence, C, D, and S, is that what it is? Yeah. Look, yeah. it's exactly the same thing. It made an all-time high just a, a week and a half ago. It had what I call a Chapman Wave two-bar reversal at the top. It went to 190.09 on the 19th of November. And the very next day, it had a high of 189.90. That's 19 cents away and a slightly lower. That was peak E. The MACD was started down negatively. The stochastic has gone all the way down. The on-balance volume turned down. But the 9 period never went below the 14 period, except it ran down to about 177 shot up to about 186, 187. And now for two days, you've got big red candles and it's made a lower low. That's that dreaded H pattern, the very same pattern we've been talking about. So I, I just say, this is a fantastic cadence design systems, electronic systems and semis uh, for, end of, for, for end use products. Um, this is a fantastic chart. I just think it's ready for a consolidation. I'm not saying a major smash, I don't know. I'm just saying for a consolidation. So funny because it fits exactly the QQQ. Look, it's the same. I'm showing it not 100%, but it has the same characteristics where the right side has made this H pattern and how it holds. So in the next two or three days, if the Qs have a big rally to 395, they're at 391.23 right now, that can stall the whole thing and go sideways for a little bit. And the same thing with your cadence, I don't know if you are in it still, but cadence design, um, if it has a big rally, it's going to be tough to do because it hasn't participated in the rallies both yesterday and today. But if it manages at 177.25 right now, to, to I, it can't just do that. It's got to close above 183. That's really far away. I'd even say 182 would be impressive. If it can do that, it says, you know what? I'm not breaking down yet. I'm stalling and I'm trying to hold up and I'm using up time. I'm usurping downside energy for a sideways move. 
if in the next few days it starts to trade under 174, the 171 50 period moving average becomes a target. I don't know if that's um, that, that's kind of the way I'm seeing it. I don't know if that fits into your scenario. A train, a train went by and I missed all that. Could you repeat it? No, Make I'm it. just kidding, Basil. <laughs> I was in the same. I was just going to say, make it real simple. It's got the H pattern. If it trades under 175, watch out. And if it goes over 179 or 180, that's much better action. I got you. <laughs> and talking about trains, the IYT, look at this IYT, the Transportation Index. I've been spending a lot of time on this. 281.45 on the 5th of November, all-time high. Uh, sorry, no, all I, off the all-time high of 287 which is made in May, but it made a beautiful cup formation, failed to break above it, and it's pulled back very sharply. And that, to me, I was talking about this before, uh, about a week or so, I said, you know, the, in, the, the transportation index is, even though it's got JETS, which is the, uh, the U.S. airline uh, ETF, uh, you can understand if it's been underperforming. But CSX, which is the, um, CSX, which is C the rails, has had a fantastic move to the upside, it made a high back in uh, late October, early November, around about 35, and then a pullback, made a cup formation, and went to a slightly higher high to 36.57 uh, 36 on the 23rd of November, and now it's broken below that. So I, I think what we're looking at here is even the best of the best, and I have to tell you that, that cadence, that's right in there with the best of the best in the whole semiconductor area. Um, it's just saying be careful because if we have a rotational correction right now, we might start to see something like uh, maybe the small caps or the Dow just find some support. And all of a sudden you're looking at an underperformance in something like the Qs and the semiconductors. So that's really what I'm warning to say be careful. This is, this is when I look at the weekly charts. It makes me a little nervous in the sense that I hear so many people say all-time highs are coming. Absolutely, when I look at the S&P, not only all-time highs, we're only in leg B. We still have to make a higher leg C. You can only do that at this particular point. You can only do that in 2022. And then you have to make at least a leg D. So I'm still very positive looking out. But short term, this is a well-deserved rest. And I, I'm sure you'd agree that even stocks that have done well they need a bit of a breather. Yes. I, I, I've never heard you bearish before, so this is kind of interesting. <laughs> okay. I, there are periods where I've been bearish, believe me. But this, this is the first time that I'm looking at the rotation that says if each one of these fabulous moves to the upside starts to deteriorate, then you've got to be careful because bad news. I, I, to tell you the truth, with the VIX at this level, we, I mean, now the VIX is soaring. It's at 29.73. It's at a level, if you look at my weekly chart, I'll show you this right now for those of you who are looking at Tiger TV. Look at this. The VIX is at a level where other times you've seen huge sudden pullbacks with the market starting a big move to the upside. But it's seldom that you've got a huge green candle like this in a weekly chart. Well, it's only Wednesday. We've still got Thursday and Friday to go. But this is a leg D in the... Um, weekly chart and it's the first time you've seen two big green candles follow one another it looked like it was going to do that back in the week of the 5th of february but in fact what happened was that high that was made the week of the 29th of january at 37.51 same thing covid fed the whole same story look at that sharp pullback so that's what we've got to be ready for but my suspicion right now is that it's going to take a little longer because we have to wait for the rollover in the very best of the best indices, and that includes the semiconductors. Uh -huh. Hope that goes. Uh, hope that helps you a lot. Yeah, Basil. Listen, YouTube John McEnroe's tantrums when you get a chance. It's very entertaining. <laughs> Thank you. I actually played. I, I took a break at lunchtime to play tennis today, and that was that was really nice to be able to do that. And now we come back to a huge market turn. And, uh, oh. Not so yeah, good. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank okay. you very much Check. for calling. That one, good fellow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Bye, Jose. Well, folks, we'll be back. Basil Trapp, we're going to have the last segment coming in. The Dow's now down 282. The S&P's down 27. 
Ooh. Sell off into the clothes. We're watching this very closely. Maybe we're getting to some kind of a bounce in the next couple of days. We'll see. And an overboard situation in the VIX. I'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, billable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, everyone. So this is Basil Chapman sitting for the one and only Tom O'Brien, and I'm... Uh, my, my service is the opening call daily newsletter, and I do the show at 10 o'clock to 11 tomorrow. I'm going to be talking about, in my show, we're going to be talking about some of these technicals that we've been monitoring, how they're working and how, or, you know, how well, what's important. In fact, here we are with NVIDIA. There's the gap. There's an island reversal right here. Uh, will it fill that gap? I suspect that there's a good chance now that uh, what happens in a market like this is sometimes fund managers are forced to sell some of their best stocks. So we won't know that until a stock like a great stock like NVIDIA starts to trade into the gap. And if any time in the next week you see NVIDIA trading under 298, it's at 316, that's a long way to go. But under 290 trading, that is not just touching it and bouncing, but trading under 298, all of a sudden you've got the leadership pulling back and that's where you want to see are we starting to see some basing in the the, the indexes that went down the uh, furthest the soonest uh, this is the loss this is the SMHs and the SMH right now uh, is at the low at 305.39 having almost made a new high at 315.57 today the high was 318.82 but look at the QQQ this is the broad index I don't use this time uh, to do anything else because this is really important. The Qs are now down five 
at 388. We're watching it in real time. When we started the show, it was somewhere over there. Look, now the dreaded H, it's below it. By rule of thumb is, in the H pattern, the price has, within two sessions, it's got to close above the left side low with the technical starting to improve. And if it bounces, having made the low, it's, it won't most probably close above the recent high, which in this case is at 400.50. And what's really important is that if it has a couple of days that are below 389.77, that becomes a really ugly scene and says you can have a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Uh, and that's the best of the best in the QQ. I never had a chance to look at Apple or anything else. Have a wonderful rest of the day, folks. And remember, it's a rotational correction so far. We're not seeing a crash or anything like that in QQs. This is just start of the move to down to consolidate. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, Tommy Jr. Start, kicks us off early in the morning, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. It should be a great program. Have a